Hey, what is up guys? So it's the third video, like fifth day of working on this thing, but uh, I think it's the last day. And uh, let me show you where we're at. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the uh, header panel back on. Uh, not permanently, just to make sure that everything fits. Because um, I have been working with the uh, brackets, and I'm going to show you that in a little bit what I've been doing. But as you can see, we uh, it fits pretty good. It looks like it's going to work. All the uh, bolts right there are going to bolt up pretty good. Um, so now I'm going to take this back out so that we can finish kind of mounting the uh, intercooler and uh, start working on the pipes. Anyways, uh, before I forget, <laughs> um, if you haven't seen the uh, previous two videos, uh, go check them out so you can know uh, exactly where we're at. Uh, with the uh, install uh yeah i really hope that this is the last day like i said uh, we got the intercooler pretty much mounted like i wanted and then uh, we're gonna move on to doing the pipes okay before i move on uh to the pipes i want to show you something uh, i ended up ditching the uh stock brackets that came with this thing and uh, made my own out of some uh about 16 gauge um uh plate steel plate on both sides and uh, i'll show you why but anyways i ended up pushing this back even further because I still didn't have enough clearance with the uh, with the header panel. So like I said, I, I pushed everything back and I actually ended up bending this back even more to get more clearance out of it. And uh, basically for reference, you want this little tube right here to be kind of like behind the uh, core support. Uh, I didn't, I still have some play. I didn't push it all the way back so that it doesn't have a lot of pressure on all this stuff over here. But it, now, all of this is nice and out of the way of the uh, intercooler. And uh, the reason why I ended up not using these uh, plates is because, well, first of all, I kind of didn't like the way they looked. And they're aluminum, so when I was bending them around, they kind of started cracking on me. Um, yeah, you can kind of see right there that they started cracking. And see, they, they bend really easily. And I was kind of afraid that with time, they were going to end up just cracking. All the way through so i just decided to uh to make my own and i'll take them out and show you exactly how they look so this is what i ended up uh, coming out with and they look very similar to the uh, original ones but as you can see they have um a lot less bend i still did add a little bit of a bend to them because like i said i didn't want the uh, condenser to be pushed all the way back and have a lot of stress on it so they do have a little bit of a bend but uh Nothing compared to what the original ones came with. And this is actually already kind of strained out, strained out a little bit. So they had even more bent to them. Uh, so yeah, this is all. This is pretty much all it is. Um, I am still going to kind of clean them up a little bit more and paint them up. Uh, but that's it. I actually really like the way they look. Now, like I said, we're going to go ahead and start. Uh, well, actually, no. I got to work on the... Uh, on the tabs, they go right here for the uh, intercooler so that we can finally have it uh, done and completely mounted and we can go ahead and move on to the uh, next step. Also, before I forget, I did make those holes bigger to have more clearance for the uh, intercooler boots and all that stuff. Um, it's still, you know, not that horribly big and it looks it looks pretty good. I did my best to kind of clean them up and make them, and make them look uh, as best as I could. Um, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't end up having to make them slightly bigger, but once we get the uh, pipes kind of figured out, uh, we're pretty much done with this whole thing. The only thing that I'm still waiting on and that's going to hold me up, unfortunately, is, uh, the clamp that goes from the turbo to the, uh, spider. Uh, I got the thing ordered, but it's probably not going to come in till like Monday. So, uh, we'll, we'll get it all done and... We'll just, you know, go ahead and throw that uh, pipe on because uh, in case you didn't know, you got to use, I believe, the, the, the clamp from the uh, 99 truck because the one from your OBS won't work because it's a little bit too small um, for this whole thing, for, for it to work. And uh, but yeah, it's a little bit too small. So like I said, I've got that thing ordered. Hopefully we'll get it on Monday or Tuesday so that we can have this whole thing done. Another quick little update, uh, let me show you. So the intercooler is now 100% uh, bolted up and mounted. Again, like I said, I drilled some holes on the core support for the top, for the top two bolts. And then on the bottom, this is what I ended up doing. 
So I got a piece of angle and some flat, uh, some flat bar. Then weld the flat bar to the angle, just far enough to where it'll reach to the uh, intercooler. Bolted up to the, bolted it up to the uh, core support. As you can see, a quick tip is. So I drilled it pretty much. I don't know if you can see this, but right below this hole. Now that's kind of like the only part where you can easily access uh, the back of it to be able to put uh, your bolt through there. And then I removed my battery to give me a little bit more uh, more access and more room to uh, work back here and be able to uh, put the bolts in. Oh, let me show you actually, this is the uh, the driver's side that I haven't that I haven't really put in yet. So like I said, a piece of angle, some uh, flat bar, just like this. And then as you can see, I messed up. Let me show you, let me show you how. I had placed it right there. And the problem with, with where I had uh, mounted it is that you can get this one bolt in because like I said, it's kind of like right underneath those holes and you can actually get back there. But on this other hole that I had done, well, luckily I didn't, I didn't drill it. You can't get behind there to uh, put the bolt there back, uh, to put the bolt back there, or at least I couldn't find a way to get uh, behind it. So I ended up having it, I ended up having to uh, move this whole thing a little bit and uh, I'm gonna mount it right there. So about an inch and a half from where I had uh, originally thought about mounting it. So anyways, we got all this figured out and now we can finally start working on the pipes. Cause like I said, I've been uh, kind of procrastinating doing this stuff. So anyways, I'm gonna start working on that and then I'll update you once I have something uh, worth showing. By the way, I forgot to mention, you probably noticed, but I ended up having to uh, remove the bumper to give me uh, better access to drill the, ho the holes because the uh, bumper was kind of in the way of uh, me drilling the holes. Okay guys, so another quick little update. Um, haven't really done much other than trying to figure out things and uh, let me show you what I got. Okay, so I'm kind of just mocking up the uh, pipes right now to see how everything's gonna work and see if I'm gonna be able to make these things work. And uh, this is the passenger side. So as you can see, we've got the uh, super duty pipe right there. And about six inches below that, we have the uh, intercooler pipe. So we're gonna have to modify this pipe in a way that we can make those uh, two ends meet up. So that's gonna be that's gonna be the the, the worst side. That's that's pretty bad. Over here on the uh, driver side, um, we've got the pipe already slid on the uh, intercooler down there. And then on top over here, you can notice how we've got about a three inch gap, more or less, and then. A pretty major step right there pretty bad high low on those two ends so what I gotta do uh, it's figure out the best way to either strain this thing and lengthen it or lengthen it and take out some band like I said I, I might end up just kind of cutting it right here and then clocking it a little bit more and then adding the uh, three inches and uh, seeing how that works out so I'll check back in when I figure this stuff out. And uh, just in case anybody's wondering, this isn't aluminum pipe. It's what they call the aluminized pipe. So it's regular like steel pipe with a like an aluminum coating. And I, I did a very scientific test to uh, make sure of this. Yep, that's uh, definitely not aluminum. Uh, another thing, you might be wondering why instead of welding this little extension piece at the end, at the end of this, I welded it in the middle. Now uh, that's for two reasons. Uh, one, like I said, I want to get that angle, and having these two uh, welds will be able to give me a little bit more uh, more angle. And I wanted to keep this at the end by the booth. That way, I don't have any uh, problems with that coming off or whatever. And you know, it's the factory uh, rolled end or whatever you want to call it. So uh, those are the two, those are the two reasons why I kept it. Uh, another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my uh, end grinder and clean the inside of this pipe before I weld the other piece and uh, I'll be it. Okay guys, so what's up? Uh, it's actually been a few days since I last uh, worked on this thing, probably since uh, Thursday, I think, either Thursday or Friday uh, since I worked on it. So not, nothing had done, 
nothing had uh, gotten done since that last clip that you saw. And uh, honestly, kind of like got, got in a hurry and pretty much finished this whole thing. Well, it's still all poor. I'm going to show you right now. but uh, And I'm going to show you what I did exactly. Um, but nothing that you didn't already know or had or I hadn't already showed you. But I'm still going to take everything apart and show you everything that I did. And uh, anyways, let me show you. Okay, so check it out. We've got this whole thing in. We've got this pipe in there. You can't see anything. Don't look at the welds too much because they are hideous. We've got that side done as well, you know, all the way down. And uh, I gotta say, this actually doesn't look that bad. Um, I'm not that happy with it. And uh, I'm gonna tell you later on uh, my plans for this. But with what I had, I think that I did, uh, you know, a good enough job. And I think it'll hold. And the reason why it looks kind of, you know, kind of ghetto a little bit, you know, it's just thrown together is because it really was uh, just thrown together. Um, I did, you know, want to make it, you know, look good and all, but I just got, I just found out that we're supposed to get about a foot of snow uh, here in my town uh, within the next, uh, you know, either the next couple days. And... I don't want to miss that. I already missed a small uh, snowstorm. Well, a little, you know, snow, about four inches. And like I said, we're supposed to get about a foot of snow here in the next couple of days. And uh, there's no way in hell that I'm going to miss that. So I got my lazy behind out here and got this whole thing uh, thrown together so that we can go out and have fun when it does snow. So anyways, I'm going to get all this thing, all this stuff uh, pulled apart pulled out and I'm going to show you um, what I did. Uh, you're probably not going to like it. Uh, it's going to look pretty ugly. You might make fun of me. Don't. You know what? Ah, it's alright. You can make fun of me. But uh, anyways, I'm going to pull this out and show you uh, what I did. So anyways, here we go. This, These are the pipes. Uh, this is the driver's side, uh, the hot side and the cold side. Hot side is the uh, side that comes off of the turbo, the hot air. Cold side is the side that comes out of the uh, intercooler already hopefully a couple hundred degrees uh, cooler than the hot side um, so hot side really pretty simple compared to the uh, cold side all I did was extend uh, this end a little bit uh, I ended up holding two pieces to kind of get the uh, angle that I wanted I don't know if you can see it's got a little bit of a bend to it uh, so I did this grinded everything down and uh, Got it as you know, good and smooth as I could, and uh, looks pretty decent. These uh, dents are, I believe, they're actually there from the factory. I think they're for uh, some sort of clearance. Anyways, pretty easy. Uh, also, another thing that I did to this is I took off all that uh, insulation that these things come with, and then I took off the uh, glue because that thing, that glue is on there, pretty good. So we took all that off, cleaned it off. So again, hot side, driver side, that was that. And as you can probably already saw, see, uh, the the uh, cold side was a little bit more interesting. So this thing mounts pretty much like this. That end goes to the turbo, this end goes down to the uh, intercooler. <clears throat> uh, so a few things. When this thing came off, this uh, little elbow right here was facing well, actually no so it sits like this right turbo intercooler so I had this um, kind of a little bend right there and then a straight piece so yeah had this first bend then a straight piece second bend and then another straight piece this straight piece that kind of came out to the intercooler so anyways this piece was pretty much about right here coming out and as you can see, we needed it to be all the way down there. So what I did is I cut that straight piece uh, in between these two. I welded uh, this elbow straight to this other elbow to kind of give me that bend that I needed, you know, facing straight down. And then welded a straight piece of pipe. I think it was about nine inches. And then did this uh, monstrosity of a uh, pipe cut 90. 90. Uh, you know, not too horrible, but definitely nothing professional. Um, I do sort of know how to weld, uh, but mostly structural. Uh, I have never actually welded pipe. 
<clears throat> like not professionally. Uh, so, uh, especially this really uh, thin stuff. Now, I've never done it. Uh, but I am getting a little bit better at it. With a little bit of practice, I'm pretty sure that could do a lot better than this. So another thing you could have done differently is instead of doing all this hard pipe or whatever, you could have actually split this up into uh, two pipes instead of doing one hard pipe and use uh, just more uh, another couple of extra booths to uh, get all this stuff done. And it probably would have worked just fine if not better than this because I can I, there there's probably going to be uh, a boost leak somewhere on this. Hopefully not, but it, it is a possibility. Um, and like I said, it looks pretty ugly, but in a way I kind of like it, but I can tell you this is not going to be permanent. Um, I kind of did do this as a project, uh, to see how easy it was to make these things work. Um, like I said, I've, I read through a few things online and it kind of sounded like it was pretty easy. So I was like, eh, you know why not? I'll give it a shot. I'll show you guys and I'll give you my honest opinion. Um, <clears throat> and honestly... It's easy. It's definitely doable. I've always said, if I can do that, you can do it. Anybody can do it. But, you know, it does take a few, you know, tools. You know, it takes quite a bit of tools. Cutting tools, grinders. Uh, a welder is a definite plus to have. Uh, it takes a lot of different things. I mean, you can get it done. If you, don't, if you don't have a welder, find a buddy that has a welder or get all your pipes measured out and mocked up and take it to your muffler shop, to your fab shop and... I'm sure that they'll get them welded for you. Uh, it probably won't be cheap, but it'll get it, uh, it'll get it done. And talking about cheap, uh, I'm gonna talk about my second point and what I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up doing with this is uh, there's a few kits, there's a few uh, pipes that they sell online. Uh, there's this one that I'm looking at uh, in particular, which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up buying and I'm gonna show you guys uh, what it is. But basically for the price, that you're gonna pay for those pipes. Um, you'll pretty much end up paying that if you go to a weld shop or a fab shop, you'll probably end up paying that much to uh, to get your pipes welded if you don't have a welder. Uh, <clears throat> and I mean, you could have done, if you could find a uh, close radius 90, so like a really tight 90, not, not one of those, you know, really long swoopy 90s, a tight 90, that would have that would have uh, worked just fine for this bend, uh, I just I couldn't find any uh, locally, and uh, I've always kind of liked trying to do uh, pie cuts, so that's what I did right here. Uh, by, the, by the way, I didn't do anything too like mathematical or scientific with the uh, pie cuts. All I did is uh, I got my straight pipe, I measured out quarter inch and an inch, or an inch, quarter inch, an inch and a quarter on top, I think. Uh, kind of staggered and then marked my lines and cut them as straight as I could. That's very key with all of this. Try to make your cuts as straight as possible and try to keep your gaps as tight as possible. Uh, that'll really, really help you out with, when you're welding these. Uh, some of these really bad welds were because there was a gap right there. But anyways, uh, <clears throat> where was I with this? Anyways, yeah, like I said, I'm going to throw these on the truck and get the truck running so that we can that hopefully we get that snow and we can have a lot of fun out there in the snow. Uh, and then hopefully sometime next week or so, uh, I'll try and get the uh, pipes that I'm talking to you about. Uh, they look uh, way better than this, which which uh, if I'm being honest, now that I saw them on the truck, uh, they, they don't look that bad, especially because most of these welds are, they're kind of hidden and you can't really see them that much. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish everything up Get all these thrown in the truck, uh, clamps tied and all that stuff and put the front end of the truck together and we'll call it a night. Okay, so we've got everything pretty much in. Um, there's only one thing that I'm doing differently and that's going to be this little thing and let me show you what it is. So the last couple things that we have left to do on this thing is throw the, uh, the clamp from the turbo to the uh, spider and I'm using a gasket you gotta you can't use your stock OBS gasket you gotta get a square gasket uh, now one thing that I heard uh, that they recommended me that works really well to use a gasket from this filter a uh, pensoil PZ 37 now hopefully this will work because right now I have the, uh, the spider with the um, OBS clamp on there and that most definitely does not work now, 
the clamp the clamp for the uh, new spider is gonna be is gonna be this one right here hopefully hopefully you can see the uh, part numbers all right guys so the camera actually died before i finished that last clip um but the last few things i want to tell you is that uh if you do go with the well with any gasket uh make sure that you put it in before you put all the pipes on the spider because it becomes a me uh, pain uh, having to put it on i actually ended up having to uh take the clamps off and remove one, uh, one side to uh, be able to get that uh, gasket in so make sure you put that you do the whole thing before you put the pipes um on like i said i'm gonna put the truck together and take it for a drive on tomorrow's video again i'm really sorry that i keep uh you know that i made this thing you know so long i wish i could have you know done you know like one or two videos but there was a lot of info and i i'm trying to do my best to show you uh the best way to do it and uh the things that i struggled with so that hopefully that you don't struggle with it now i had a few leaks on the uh on the turbo side on the compressor side um going into the engine a few uh, boost leaks which was part of what was giving me uh trouble i do know that before those leaks um came up the truck was actually running pretty good it wouldn't really uh hit 20, uh 1200 it was when you're really uh stepping on it it would maybe hit i don't know uh 1100 a thousand it would usually stay under a thousand so it was running really good so I'm hoping with this kit, um, it, I'm hoping that that gasket and everything else, I'm hoping that nothing, nothing leaks. Uh, and I'm hoping to stay, you know, under, under a thousand again, hopefully, you know, between 900 ish, you know, regular driving, you know, kind of full throttle, uh, full throttle. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but I'm not sure. I, I might still, I might still have leaks on the uh, hot side of the turbo. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully everything's good. But like I said, um, I'm gonna finish putting the whole front end together. Um, that's basically the same uh, procedure as taking it off. So you guys, if you already took it off, you should know how to put it back on. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for sticking with me through this whole you know ordeal. And I'm sorry that I'm not showing the truck uh, driving today. Like I said, I'll show it on, on the next video. Um, anyways, that was enough uh, talking. This video's already gonna be over 20 minutes long. Um, so yeah, we'll see you the next one. Uh, make sure you leave a like if uh, you found these videos helpful. Leave a comment if you have any questions, if I didn't cover something that you might be wondering about. Oh, one thing that I didn't cover was um, the hood latch. You gotta relocate the hood latch. And I'll probably show that on tomorrow's video, on the next video. I don't know if I'm gonna upload it tomorrow or not, but I'll show that on the next, ver on the next video, uh, how I did it. Uh, well, how I'm gonna do it, because I haven't done it yet, but I have an idea of what I wanna do. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> again, thanks for watching, leave a comment, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe.